have you ever had a patient on a ventilator and you're having like the best shift ever? Everything's going smooth, steady, no major issues. And then you walk into your patient's room and you hear this sound <laughs> and you're like, well, that's not good because you have a breathing tube in. So why am I hearing all this air? You're looking at your patient. You're like, your breathing tube's still in. It's still at the same centimeter marking. Like nothing's moved. So why am I hearing all of this like air movement? Your most likely culprit is a blown ET tube cuff. The ET tube cuff is this little balloon that sits on the end of an ET tube and it is inflated to sit back in the patient's trachea or airway. When a patient's intubated, this cuff is deflated. And then once that patient is intubated, we go ahead and put a few cc's of air through the pilot balloon. That's this little blue thing here. As you can see, it goes down and it inflates that cuff. So if you're hearing air movement around that cuff, sometimes it's dramatic, sometimes it's just like a little bit of air or you'll kind of hear like this bubbling sound, but it correlates with the patient's inspiration and expiration. The first thing that I would try is adding a cc or two of air back to this pilot balloon. Just like regular balloons, when you blow up a balloon and then it sits for a couple days, you notice your balloon kind of starts to shrink down and that air is like escaping. That can also happen to the cuff and sometimes you just need to add a little bit of air back in. But sometimes this little little guy here is completely deflated and you may need to do an ET tube exchange on your patient. This cuff can deflate for a lot of reasons. I would say main ones are if your patient is coughing a ton, a ton, a ton. Um, sometimes it just gets like a little hole in it and it deflates. Sometimes there's just no rhyme or reason and it just randomly happens. But if you're hearing that air gurgly sound and you've already added a couple cc's of air and you're still hearing that gurgly sound, I would one, call my respiratory therapist and two, notify the provider. The next steps depend on how your patient is doing. If your patient is quote unquote stable, I know I don't really like that word, but stable as in no vital sign changes. Like they are good. They are getting their volumes on the ventilator. They are not desatting. They're not in any respiratory distress. Sometimes it's okay to just like let that ET tube have a deflated cuff because it's not impacting the patient. This is going to be provider dependent and of course up to the provider whether they want to leave that ET tube or not. But if your patient is desatting, respiratory distress, hemodynamically unstable, then you're going to need to do an emergent ET tube exchange. This is not done by the nurse. This is done by the provider. And it is very similar to intubating a patient, but there are a few different tips and tricks they do for just exchanging out a tube to hopefully do it in the safest way possible. Worst case scenario, I've only had this happen one time to me. My patient's ET tube cuff was completely deflated. The patient was in severe respiratory distress. The provider was on their way, but it's gonna be a couple minutes before they can get there to intubate the patient. So we ended up just pulling the ET tube completely and manually bagging the patient until the provider got there and could intubate. And I'm out of time. Let me know if you have any questions.